youtube what is good how we doing today ot here back again with another video and for today i'm going to be bringing you guys a new live hitting tips video if you aren't familiar with the series it's where i hop into a rank game and walk you guys through key at bats key moments stuff like that really just give you a thought process into what is going on in my head when i'm hitting as far as my team for this gameplay we're just going to be rocking the god squad we're on our world series push grinding for willie mays so we got to get the w as always guys if you do enjoy the content make sure you hit that like button to show your support and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that sub button to see more content like this going forward i pump out a lot of these tip videos a lot of player debuts so if you're into watching tips from one of the best players in the world make sure you hit that sub button playing at the porch interesting stadium choice opponent is 187 and 126 i'm down to play this game even though it's not the ideal stadium the porch isn't so so bad as always beginning of the game we're looking to see how he likes to pitch to us um what pitches he likes to go to whether he likes to attack the zone or pitch around the zone that kind of stuff kind of hard for me to pick up the ball right now i just got to get used to the batter's eye Good spot for that. Good spot. Hard pitch to square up. I mean, so far he's attacking us. Every pitch he's thrown has been in the zone or right on the black like that last sinker. So perhaps we got to be more aggressive. I don't know. We'll see what he does for the rest of the inning. Ball, that's out. Hey. I got one ball, one strike. We got two balls, one strike. Okay. Not a terrible pitch on Legend. That's a really good pitch on Hall of Fame. Likely to get hit a little harder. Off speed up in the zone. A decent swing on that fastball just got a little too far under it starting to see the ball better though the first couple of pitches i really could not see at all but i feel like i'm tracking it pretty decent now ball that's in hey for the most part he hasn't really made any mistake pitches everything's been either on the corner on the black nothing over the middle if that leaves i don't even know what to say <laughs> i mean that's crazy no way i should have swung at that pitch if you guys watch my streams anything you know i always have the tendency to go after high fastballs no reason for that to be leaving that pitch is at my neck Under the first pitch, change up a lot. Makes sense, especially after I just hit a fastball out with an early swing. Doubled up. Oh, and two. Kind of smart. I mean, I read the pitch. I'm surprised I was too early. One ball, two strikes to count. He's used all five pitches already. Ball. Most of them multiple times. So we got to be aware that he's willing to mix in everything in his arsenal. Ah, uh, he hung me a changeup. Just waited back too long that time. The opposite of the problem he had before. Okay, we get one run on the board in the first. Not a great inning. Not a terrible inning either. 17 pitches. We're working him pretty decent. All right, so we had a clean bottom of the first. Um, opponent didn't really take the best swings, but doesn't mean he's not a good hitter. I just need a couple innings to get settled in but real quick i want to show you guys something i've been doing um with my thumb on my pci stick i kind of change it up a little so if you can see this i'm still doing like the really light grip from the bottom but i'm holding it more on the side than like down here now if that makes sense um i'm not quite sure why but i feel like i've just been able to not drop my pci as badly when i do this so maybe it's worth a shot for you guys as well 
Just something to think about, something that's worked for me. All right, two pretty quick at-bats from our first two hitters. Let's try to work it a little with Ortiz. Hey! You were bringing 98. Oh, one's the count. I did not know he had that kind of gas. Double up on the heater. You wonder if he goes back to the fastball or if he tries to change up here. Thinker, okay. Good spot. I thought it was a change up for sure. Well, that's off the plate. Yeah, I was kind of just waiting for that change up. Really couldn't have put a better swing on that if I tried. Basically a perfect, perfect almost. But I was waiting for the change up. I knew he was going to go to it eventually. All right, so we got two on us in the bottom of the second. Not the end of the world, but we do have to start swinging the bats. First pitch. Again, the ball just dies at this stadium, man. And like, that's not a bad swing at all. And it's like 50 feet away from the wall. Oral went down pretty easily, so let's see if we can salvage this inning with Randy or Rosarena. Not a great first pitch swing. Probably should just lay off that. Kind of been late on the fastball pretty routinely this game. One ball. The only one I really turned strength. on was with Seager, so I kind of have to speed up my bat a little, perhaps. That's outside. Two and two. Just threw me a change up off the plate. I guess he might go in the. Oh, okay. Doubled up on the change up. Definitely missed his spot. Able to sneak that over the wall. A little wall scraper for Randy. The stadium is just huge. All right, we tied it up at two. He made a mistake. We capitalized. First pitch. Hung me a slider. Assuming that's leaving 113 power. Deeks it out. Yeah, I mean, first pitch. That's like the worst pitch. Or, excuse me. That's like the worst location for an off speed is low over the middle. Because it's kind of just in a sweet spot where the PCI will naturally drift to. Hey. Back to the changeup. Seems like he really uses the changeup as a crutch. Like his get me over pitch. Foul ball. The count is one and two. Good spot. For the most part, his location hasn't been that bad. He really made two mistakes. One to Seager, one to Randy. And now one to Chipper. Okay. So I guess his confidence might be getting a little low. He's made some mistakes here. Um, that's back-to-back -back moon shots for us. Gotta see if he'll look to maybe be more patient here. More passive. Not attack the zone so much. Now that oh, I've shown him that bad. I can hit moon shots even at this stadium. All right, opponent brought the game back within a run. I wouldn't say he's been hitting the best. I've kind of just been making a lot of mistake pitches. He's still throwing everything down the middle. I got to be ready and capitalize. Ball, that's out. You really want to get your eight hole hitter on base when the pitcher's up next. Because if Ball, he gets out, the pitcher's going to get out. You got the top of the order with two outs, nobody on. You want to work a good at bat here. Three and one. Three balls, one strike. I'm going to take all the way unless it's right down the middle. I'll probably throw like an all speed here. Show me. Yeah, change ball up. Ball four, take your base. Put this on. World coming up. He could make a good argument to go to the bullpen here, but I'm just going to keep Oral in. No, that's down. Not going to bun or anything. I'm just going to take my strike out or walk every once in a while. Most likely a strike out, though. Saw that change up, but didn't wait back.
Not surprised he threw a fastball there. Got it in a decent enough location where I just got a little under it. Bad first pitch swing. Did not think that was going to be low. All right. Still up by a run in the top of the six. He's going to the bullpen, Garrett Crochet. One thing I have noticed is that when I play down on a difficulty, like when I go from legend to hall of fame, I always have a worse approach. Like I just start swinging at more bad pitches because I feel like it should be easier to hit. And that's something I need nope. to fix. Outside. I don't know if you guys have that same issue, whether you're going from legend to hall of fame or hall of fame to all-star, whatever it may be. Ah. He's kind of dotting me up with Garrett Crochet. Three really well located off speed. Thought he would throw a fastball there, but he threw me a change up down and in. Pretty easy pitch just to drop the PCI on. He has three nukes. Six innings deep. I don't think this Garrett... I didn't replay that. I don't think this Garrett Crochet card is very good, by the way. I use him just because there's not very many good lefties, but I think he's really readable. Yep, that Even though he throws one or two, his one or two doesn't get on you like some other guys does. Like, Rob Dibble's one or two is a lot more impressive, I feel like. Just because he has such a smooth, simple um, motion to the plate. Dropped on that fastball. That's still the hardest pitch to hit, in my opinion. Those pitches that are right in the middle of the bottom third of the zone. It's so hard to only move your PCI down by like a little bit. Fastball over the middle. Yelich handles those. I'm so good with Christian Yelich against lefties. I don't know why. Like way better than against righties. He just has such a good swing. Yeah, that's how I know I'm getting too aggressive. Probably shouldn't be swinging at that. You don't want to miss too many of those. Now we're out to... Ball. The count one, two. Maybe one, he goes back two. to the off speed. Showing I can hit the fastball. Ball two. Two heaters. Off speed has to be on the way soon. There it is. Three, Three two. two. My control is really broken. I had to pause. All right, Walsh no, Tatis. Really just terrible pitching by him after he got ahead of two. Tatis, we're looking to turn and burn probably on a fastball. There was a fastball. In a good spot. Don't want to take a swing at anything bad that we can roll over, though. Got to keep that in mind. One and one. A double play would be killer here. Just looking for something up in the zone. He likes to throw the fastball away, which is unusual. Yep, went to the fastball away again. Back to the well one too many times. We're able to smoke that into the gap. It'd be a two-run double for Ortiz. He's just gotten too predictable. He's still in pretty unique locations for pitches, but when yeah. you go to it over and over and over again, eventually I'm going to beat you. You know what I mean? You got to mix it up more. It's that hanger. We would attack up, tag up, excuse me, because Larry played it from his back foot. If he's able to get behind that, we don't tag up. 40 speed moving up is huge because you don't really score on singles with 40 speed. And he quit. Okay. Hopefully he quit and I didn't get the loss. I'm assuming that's what happened, but who knows. Okay, we did get the W. He was only at 700 on the dot, so we didn't get that much of a rating boost from that game. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys were able to gain some information, some insight in my approach from this video. If you did, consider dropping a like to support the channel. And if you're new, make sure you hit that sub button to not miss any of my content going forward. I'll see all you guys next time. Peace.